When I was growing up, we used to cruise around in our car, going from basketball game to basketball game, listening to music on our eight-track tape. And one of the bands we used to listen to was the Beach Boys, and they had a song I'll never forget. And the lyrics went something like this. Don't be afraid to try the greatest sport around. Everybody tries it once. Catch a wave and you'll be sitting on top of the world. Well, for us, the sport is entrepreneurship. And Rafa is trying to catch a wave and get to the top of the world. He's got a nice little surfboard, but will it work? All entrepreneurs experience what Rafa's going through right now. This is the quintessential part of the entrepreneurial experience. Those of you with a marketing background should be familiar with the concept of a persona. But for others, your persona is an end user who best exemplifies the end user profile. Think of the persona as that one customer who, if you won, you would get everybody else in the target customer profile. That's your persona. In this lesson today, based on Rafa's example, you're going to learn a few things. First of all, you're going to learn the difference between the persona and the end user profile and why you want both an end user profile and a persona. Secondly, the important role that your persona plays in your company building process will be made very clear. And third, you will learn how to choose and build a persona.